And we are just both so grateful. We feel so honored and privileged to be part of this exciting movement. So um, before we get started, let's get some uh, housekeeping items out of the way. So in case of emergency, we have two emergency exits. One is right here. That's the door that leads you out to the parking lot. There's one, the front door where you came in. And for those of you who are not from California, in case we have an earthquake, you never know. The protocol is drop. So you drop to the ground, cover, drop under a table so you're covered or put arms over your head and hold on. So just hold on to something. So just in case. And the other thing is bathrooms. If you need to use the restrooms, if they're right outside the door where you came in, you walk out to the hallway, turn to the right, that's where the restrooms are. And um, of course, phones, please put your phones on silent or turn them off because you're here for a really amazing, wonderful, positive afternoon. So let's not get distracted. And the other thing is on the table, you can see that there's a little cup. We have brought some vitamin C's and cough lessages for you in case you get that little tickle. If you need Kleenex, we have Kleenex up here. And also on tables, there's some little quotes. They're just quotes from different leaders and uh, something fun for you to ponder and share with your table mates. So we're just super excited and I'm gonna have Anna Marie take over and get started. Awesome. Thank you, Portia. Hello. I am super happy to be here for so very many reasons and I feel like we have already accomplished so many of the things that we have been planning is to just have you all in the same room and talking to each other and being able to absorb the wit and the wisdom and the greatness of some of the people who have really led the way. So I'm going to give a little bit of a, a framework as to how this next day and a half will progress. And also we'll be talking a little about these upcoming videos. We're going to be doing three minute videos and really that is, it's a multi-part experience. It is so everyone here has the opportunity to listen to every other person here. And we will be allowing just that little bit of transition time so that we can ask a few questions. But we want to keep it very tight and keep the schedule so that every person has their opportunity to fully share. And then we're going to demonstrate what we think is the best practice. And actually through the next day and a half, we're gonna be showing many, many, many group engagement best practices. Portia and I spent many years working with several hundred nonprofits and doing quite a lot of public engagements. And there are some things that just work way better than other things. And we hope to give you that level of toolbox when you leave here and you go back home and you start talking to more and more people about this, that's, one of the tools that you will have leaving here. Are we? 30 seconds. <laughs> no, don't worry, we are fine. Hmm? Sure. Um, one of the things we're gonna ask you to do is to answer all questions. So, let's try that out. How many of you are willing to answer every question we ask you today? Raise your hand if that is true. See, some of you are already not raising your hand. I would just say that one of, the, one of the ways that we can ensure that we leave here knowing more is if we ask quite a few questions. So how many of you are already very comfortable doing videos? <laughs> a few slow hands going up. Well, we want to make sure that you have exactly what you need so that you can feel comfortable because in reality, it is a remarkable thing to have the partnership that we have with Ding Ding TV. And these three minute interviews, these three minute presentations, they will be content fodder. They will be content for you to use on social media. It's content that will really help push this conversation forward. So we want to make sure that this really plays out very well. So we're going to do a little example. Are we ready? Can I? Ah, uh, yes. 
Yes. Thank you. So for today, our top priority is build greater bonds so that you leave here more connected than when you started. We're going to learn about each other and from each other. That's going to be one of the most important pieces of, of this time together because so many of you are doing very different aspects of civic engagement and we want to harness to the brilliance that is in the room and certainly create a path forward. The things we're going to ask is to really be open and courageous because sometimes it's hard to share in a group and sometimes it's hard to say what you're strong in or what you're not strong in, but we're asking for everyone to just be completely open, honest, and courageous to answer all the questions because it really will help us to determine what we can do to best serve you. And the last one is to really do exactly what we've seen already today, is be great with each other and have this event change your future. We want to talk about a couple of ground rules, which is one, no matter what is said during the course of the next day and a half, please assume positive intent. Anybody have any thought about what that could possibly look like? Oh, you know what it looks like. Somebody makes a gaffe. Somebody says something that's a little awkward or unintentional. Assume the best. No matter what transpires, let us assume positive intent and keep moving forward. Certainly, we want to leave here with a level of understanding of the unity and alignment. So whenever possible, whatever the conversation is, look for that. We're asking you to look and listen with open hearts and open minds. If there is something that comes up that there is disagreement, we ask that you be very intentional about attacking the problem, but not the person. Has anybody here ever been to an event where it becomes an attack between people? Raise your hand if you've ever seen that. Yes, it's, it's the quickest way to have a meeting go astray. So we always want to attack the problem, but not the person. Certainly be hard on issues and facts, and soft on people. We would like you to speak your truth and do so without any naming, shaming, blaming. This is meant to be an entirely positive path forward for absolutely everyone in the room. And the last is to make this a safe space. What do you think that will look like, making it into a safe space? Anybody? Ah, Anthony. I think that is an excellent way of looking at keeping it a safe space. And that means keeping confidences when confidences are necessary and making it safe for everyone to share. There should be no awkwardness. This is a group of people who have chosen to fly together. So please help keep it a safe space by making that be the way we treat each other. Does everybody agree to that? Is there anyone not agreeing to that? <laughs> Quickly look around, make sure we've got that part down. That's exactly right. You want it closer? Okay. Now, we're going to talk about your three-minute introduction videos. The thing that's incredibly important, even if you have zero video and presentation experience, is to remember that what your audience needs to see, what they need to feel, is that positive energy and enthusiasm. Can everybody agree with that? Do you, know, do you know how hard it is to watch someone who doesn't look as if they believe their own message? If they feel they're awkward, they actually make people feel awkward watching them, right? Anybody, have, really, have you ever seen someone who you were actually cringing watching them present because you felt uncomfortable just watching them? Right, what we want is for you to do your best at just radiating the genuine enthusiasm you feel for this topic and bring that positive energy. There's a really basic three-step model for presenting. And, oh, by the way, anyone who feels they would like to take pictures of the screen, that's fine, but we're also perfectly happy to share the PowerPoint so everybody can have it. The three-step presentation model is to first 
Tell them what you plan on telling them. Then you tell them. Then you tell them what you told them. And how that looks in like a 30 second version would be me saying, I've got my phone here, I will show you. The 30 second version is, hi, my name is Anna Marie and I'm going to show you how I use my phone to be a safety device. What I have done is I have put my emergency contacts on my front screen. That will allow anyone to help me should I not be able to speak on my own behalf. So I want to thank you for listening to how you can make your phone a great safety tool. Does that make sense? That was a three-part presentation. I told you what I was going to tell you. I told you, and then I told you what I told you. That means that anybody who walked in in the middle of that presentation, it doesn't matter which part of it they heard, they would remember the girl in the bright jacket was talking about something with safety, something with her phone, right? And you know, people tend to sometimes not pay attention sometime during a meeting. If you use that three-step model, basically you make it so that anyone can tune in or out and still remember the basics of your conversation. For your three minutes, what we're really hoping is to really hit three things in particular. Number one, a very brief history of your organization. Two, the past achievements in civic engagement. And three, the impact of your CLF grant to your organization or community. If you manage to hit all three of those inside your three minutes and you want to add something else, by all means, it's your three minutes. But please make sure you nail those three things. Are there any questions on that? Let's do a very short demonstration. Portia, I'll pick on you. Please come on up and do a very short. Okay. Hi, my name is Portia Chen Silverberg. I am with the Pollyanna Posse. My business partner, Anna Marie Jones, and I have started this company because we're both passionate about making a positive difference in the world through meetings and different gatherings. In fact, we wrote a book called Gatherings for Greatness, and that's how the company came about. And in our past careers, we were both very active social sector leaders. We have created hundreds between the two of us, cross-sector coalitions. We bring people from nonprofits, community-based organizations, government agencies, and the community at large together so we can all work together and look for unity and make a difference in our community. So the impact of the CLF grant to us is not anything because we're not grantees. However, we have already been impacted by the CLF organization because through this project, as we learned about the weekend's objectives and why you are all here, we have learned so much about what is so important at stake here. And for us, we are fully committed to be here for you, to serve you, to support you, to make this an amazing weekend. And this is why I shared my three minute presentation. Thank you. <laughs> to help you stay on time, because some of you may or may not be comfortable with time, we have this handy timer. It'll sit here, so it'll be extremely clear when you're about ready to go <clears throat> over time. We will be nice, but we will indeed have to cut it off and move forward. So you will have ample warning, and lovely Portia here, if you go beyond your three minutes, we'll be waving the, the sign at you. So are there any questions? Is there anybody here who would like to try out a demo with, with us structuring it? Alrighty then. For the people, for the people who are not presenting, would you please make sure you open up your your binders and take notes. This is really a learning session. While it looks like a presentation, it's actually a learning session. This is your opportunity to write as many questions down, to put those points of connection down, so that when we are done, you will feel that you have genuinely spent quality time with the people presenting. Make sense? Are there any questions before we begin? Yes. So, um, if we have multiple people from one organization, and so should the president do the same thing? Because I think that would be more effective. 
It should be the... I, 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 I'm checking with Anthony, but the general consensus over here is whoever prepared the PowerPoint and is best able to nail a three-minute presentation should be the one up on stage. Does that make sense? I, I, see, some, I see some finger... Would you pull up the PowerPoint for, well, for them? If we have several people, we can allow a little more time. Yes, Sandy. We have 18 listed. A week. This is this is so important that make that work. But yes, we do have other things on the agenda. But this is really important today. We will be taking minor breaks after some of the presentations. I'd say every three or four, we might have that little bit of Q&A. And there are some things that might be sort of pressing questions, especially if everyone's got them. So we'll play it by ear for the first two or three and see how it goes. But this is the most important part of this afternoon. Yes. Excellent. And the first person up will be representing 8020 United. Joel. Yes. A round of applause. Yahoo. Uh, those, those, uh, those are correct. 